Uh, hold on. Evie, what is your question? Evie, did you have a question? No? All right. If Evie doesn't have a question, then we will move on. All right. So we have the second way workbook here. And we're going to flip to the page that says um, pattern. So it's right after the facial expressions page that we did last time. And it should say pattern right here. So flip to this page. OK. Evie, do you have a question still? What's your question? Evelyn Lonis, what's your question? I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Okay. Uh, Miss Salins or Miss F, can you guys hear me or no? You can. Uh, Evie, yes, I can right. hear you. Okay. Um, hold on. She can't hear me if I even give her directions. Hold log on. back in and log back on, maybe. All right. Hopefully she heard your directions. There's nothing I could do on my end. Uh, I typed it out to her. All right. Um, let's see. Is her sister on? Yeah. All right. Um, I think she logged off and on. I'm not quite sure. Apologize for the technical difficulties, guys. I'm just trying to help out um, someone. Is she back yet? All right. If she's not back, I'm going to have to start without her because I'm on limited time right now. All right. I see Evie back, and I see Mrs. F back. Evie, is it any better? All right, great. All right. I got to get started right away because uh, I will run out of time. Uh, this is a long one. All right. So here we go. Pattern. Mr. Bell. Yes. I can't find my packet. That's OK. Just make sure you have a blank sheet of paper. As you can see, I can do it on my blank sheet of paper, too. So blank sheet of paper will work I just have fine. my sketchbook. OK, sketchbook will work just as fine. All right, I got to get started. I wasted too much time. Here we go. Pattern is a repetition of the elements of art or anything else. There are many different kinds of patterns to use in art. So there's a couple examples here. Let's go over all of them. So in pattern, you can use it with line. You can see here it's represented with stripes, dashed lines, swirls, and zigzags. And even like kind of like um, fireworks. Patterns you can use with shapes, as seen with this one. There's hearts, uh, circles, rectangles, squares. You can use patterns using only color, if you'd like. So color, such as rainbows, flowers, butterfly, clothing, and wallpaper, and anything else that's not listed. And as you guys did not know, some stuff that doesn't require art uh, is also sometimes a pattern, such as birds flying in formation. That's called a pattern as well, because it's a flying V. Uh, cars that stopped in traffic can sometimes make a pattern. Okay, And over here, people doing jumping jacks in a certain way could be a pattern. Uh, music has patterns. Math, sometimes numbers, using numbers in a certain way can have patterns. And even breathing, such as inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, can be a pattern as well. So basically, patterns are everywhere. All right, if you don't have the packet, like I said before, I've said it tons of times, this can always be done on a sketchbook, notebook, or a blank sheet of paper like how I have over here. For those of us who have a packet, I want you guys to divide your paper into four, just like how I have on this reverse side where the packet page was. So Right behind the facial expressions page, you will have a blank sheet of paper. And all I did was divide in half by drawing a line down in the middle and drawing down uh, a line across the middle as well. Mr. Mel. Uh, four sections. Yes, what is up? My paper is not that big in the sketchbook. It's like this big. This is how big it is. It's not that big. That's fine. That size is completely fine. You can even do it on a post if you really want to. All right. So what you're going to do, if you want to keep this page out in front of you, you can. But basically what you're going to do, I want you guys to do four different types of pattern. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do four different types of pattern with you guys. But with that said, I am going to leave my example from last class as well up for you right here so you guys can see. So last class, I divided up my blank sheet of paper. So I pretended that I did not have the packet either. So I pretended by having a blank sheet of paper, I divided it in half two ways. So up and down, and left and right. And I did four patterns. My four patterns I did were flower, sun, flower, sun, flower, sun, and on and on. That was my first pattern. My second pattern was buildings with different types of windows using line. My third pattern I did was a skateboard flipping in the air. So I went forward, sideways, upside down, sideways again, and then back to normal. So I did that with a skateboard, making it flip over and over again. And then my last pattern, my fourth pattern, I used the pattern of color. So it's all the same shape, basically the leaves. I just changed the color from light green to dark green, light green to dark green. So all you're going to do is I want you guys to divide your paper like how I did over here, either a sketchbook, back of this workbook, or a notepad. Number it one, two, four. One, two, three, and four. And I want you guys right now to do four different patterns. You can do anything you want. And you're going to do that right now. So if you want to copy me, you can. If you want to go on your own, you can do that too. So for me, I'm going to do a pumpkin. Pumpkin. And I'll do, hmm, I'll do a leaf. Pumpkin. Okay, pumpkin, and then leaf. And they don't have to be exactly the same, as long as there's a pattern going on of some sort. So as you can see on mine, I am having a pattern. Great. So you should be working on either your number one pattern, maybe some people are already on the number three I'm pattern. I'm using a pattern of shape. You can do any type of pattern you want using that worksheet. So there's pattern line, pattern shapes, pattern of color, and there's tons of other examples that they give you. So up to you to decide what you want to do. Up to you. You don't have to copy me. You do not have to copy me. I'm just doing random patterns here. There we go. So I did pumpkin leaf, pumpkin leaf for my first one. All right, so let me see what I could do for my second one. Maybe I will do, let's see, a street for my second one. And then on the street, I will do different houses. So maybe house over here like this. And then another house beside it, but with a different roof. So that's a pattern. And then I'm not sure if I can fit another house, but I'll try. All right, so that's a pattern. I can probably even do a pattern in the sky if I wanted to. Cloud, cloud. I'm not going to organize my clouds in a certain way. That's a pattern. Yeah, Jasmine, go ahead. You don't have to ask. Not in my class. You don't have to ask in my class. Right, there we go. So that's a pattern. Maybe if I wanted to, I could add patterns underneath too. Grass, 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 grass. So it's a little freaky, but still a pattern. All right. Pattern number two for me is done. So notice how I'm doing like a lot of different ones here. So this is from my last class, and this is from you guys right here. Uh, let's see if I should do my, which I, I should do for my third one. Are you guys on your number third one yet? Not yet. Raise your hand if you're done already. No one done. Oh wow, you guys are fast. I'm only on number three. All right, let's see what I should do for my next one. All right. I'm on four, Mister Mail. Oh my gosh, you guys are way faster than me. I should stop goofing off. I'm, I'm, color. Going, I'm going down from one, three, two, four is what I'm doing. Down. All right, for this one, I got an idea. I'm going to do the rainbow, but in a certain way. Hopefully I have all the colors. I'm going to make a heart. Roy, 
Oh, I messed up already. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be orange over here. Red, orange, yellow. Everyone may makes mistakes, Mr. Mill. Correct. All right, next one is green. Blue. There you go, here's my heart. Violet and purple. Violet is purple. Good job. There you go. So that's a pattern. All right, let's try another one. I have one more to go, guys. One more to go. Oh, what should I do? Come on, I'm just on number three. That's good. You don't have to go the same pace as me. Okay. Let's see, what can I do? I'll do an easy one. Why don't I just do uh, stick Let me give you a good one. I'm doing... For my number three, I'm doing seed, flower, seed, flower, seed, flower. Oh, you do that. That's a good job. That is called a pattern. Good job. So I'm just going to do a guy jumping up with the knees up, and then hands down, and then feet down. There you go. That's a pattern. Nice and easy. I didn't want to do a hard one. All right, for you guys in total, you guys can see that I did a total of eight, including the ones from last class. I'm so done. I did eight. Examples here. Awesome. All right, so that is it for me. Um, we still have about two minutes left. If you want to hold yours up to the camera and show everyone what you've done, you can. I'm going to be making sure that I flip my camera so you guys can see me. And that'll be the end in can a little I bit. Can show you one of my drawings that I made just today? If you have anything else to share with me, now would be the time to hold up to the camera while I'll keep your microphone off. Let's hold up to the camera so everyone can see. Hold it up to the camera so everyone can see. It could be the pattern sheet. It could be any artwork you want to share with me. Share with me. Good job. Oh, Gia, nice bird. Gabrielle, a nice uh, buildings there. I see it. Good job. Uh, Ashlyn, good pattern choices. Good job. Ellie, good job. Joshua, nice goal bat. Nice job. Jackson, awesome. Emma, awesome. That bird was an eagle. David, nice creeper. Awesome. All right. Cool. With that said, headphones. it is time to get going. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Mr. Mill. Bye. 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 Bye.